Are you interested in buying yourself some My Hero Academia merch? Some amazing clothes with your favorite character on it? Like Katsuki Bakugao, Shouto Todoroki, and Izuki Midoriya. Go click the link in my description box now and get some awesome discounts from 20% up to 65% off. They offer you free worldwide shipping on orders over $39.90. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description. Guys this video took me so much time so I hope you will like it. I don't want to do it even longer so let's skip the intro. Thank you for almost 4000 subscribes that means a lot. Please subscribe like and leave a comment so that you never miss a video. Also all the music or photos are not mine so full credit to the right owner. Enjoy. Feedback. They're all of legal age. Enjoy. Monoma made a group chat. Monoma added Su, Shinso, Jiro, Shoji, Kirishima, Iida, Toru, Bakugo, Aizawa, Mirio, Dabi. Monoma named the group chat, Daddy's what they call me Shmexi emojis. At everyone. At everyone. Monoma bestie. What the hell is this? Hello. Is that some kind of way to bond with us? As I know this beep it's not an amused face that hates this attitude. Wow. Maybe let's all calm down. Monoma san. What is that for? M. I am pretty sure I shouldn't be here. Same. Dot. Dot. What the dears. Before you say anything. Did you get pranked by your partner some time ago? What do you mean? No. I want to know why the villain is here. WTF. Beep. You call me a beep. Oh, come on Aizawa, don't be a party pooper. The fact that I am not your teacher anymore doesn't mean I am your friend Mad Aizawa face. So shut your mouth problematic child and let me kick this beeper out of here. Calm down mother beeper. I'm on a good path. So don't even try. Exactly. He sparkles changing sparkles. You're definitely spending too much time with Aoyama. Gaspla beep. Um. What's with the name Sweetum G face that don't get this beep? You don't like it. I mean, I'm pretty sure Aoyama doesn't call you that. You all are so mean to me crying but not actually crying face. Actually I am kinda busy right now. So if it's not anything important, then I'll leave now. Yes, me too. Guys, can you go straight to the point? I am lying with Tamaki right now and I don't want to wake him up with this phone noise face that loves Tamaki really much and don't want to wake him up. Can't you just go to the other room? Don't wanna leave him loving face. Ah, that's so cute. Kids these days unamused face that actually whipped for his partner but won't say a thing. Beep just what do you want from us? Oh my, if you want to know so bad grin that loves teasing people. Then answer my question. What was the question again? Yeah face they actually forgot. Did you get pranked by your partner a while ago? Oh, yeah he tried with this being silent until I tell him, I love you but I kinda knew about it so. Oh, so that was a prank. I was scared that I did something wrong laughing face. Oh, I think she didn't do that on me actually surprised face. Oh I remember, I think she tried but failed. Yeah, I punished him. I don't think I was participating. Same, me either. Oh, I think I remember. OMG that was when I hit him with a pan. Dot, dot. Anyways, I do remember, I was so scared terrified face. Yeah. I get prank too. But there's prank was lame. And wasn't so good prepared. We are going to do it in a sparkles professional sparkles way. By professional, you mean. Obviously more people and recordings with proves peace out sign. As I assume, you all are tops. Right. You. A top. Haha. Ha. Good joke. I hate you face. I hate you. But back to your question. Yeah obviously I am the top. Why obviously. I could see Denki on this position. Yeah. Not happening. Are you sacred a big D yes. I'm the top. That's. Too private question. I agree. Why so shy. It's a proud to be the top. Why. Yeah. Same question. Doesn't it feel nice to be under the person you love. This is bullbeep. I'm outta here. Wait. Mirio. Are you the B I mean. I am the top. But I could be the bottom if that's what Tamaki want. Deku's too shy smirking face. Weren't you about to leave. No. I need all of you for this prank. I'm in. But he didn't even said what's the prank about. Yeah, so, I oh why do I even bother? So, mind telling us what the prank is? Why am I involved? Yeah, and I have the exact same question. Please not the father and son agreeing with each other pff. What? 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 Okay I am leaving now, goodbye. No, no one is allowed to leave this group chat. Because the offical battle has just began smirking face. What battle though? 
Tops versus Bottoms amazed by his idea face. Since Bottoms already had their chance to prank us, it's our time to shine shining emojis. Yeah, definitely too much Aoyama. Shut the beep up. Wanna listen about my fabulous idea? Let's just get this over with. Okay I guess. Geez spill it already copycat. Oh such an insult, terrible manners. But fine, I won't keep you on the edge of your seat that long. Drum rolls please. No just say it. For the first time I agree with ears. Spill. Oh I see you really want to do it. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm right after you wanna leave this place right away faces. And I'm just gonna burn this beep. You'll miss me. Challenge. Dot. 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 Sorry what? You need to get your eyes checked. That's bad Toya Chan. Don't you dare beeping call me that. Uh so vulgar. Any gaze. Are you in? That sounds really bad sad pensive face. That's stupid as beep. Hey Monoma, are you and Aoyama alright? Yeah, why wouldn't we? Cause you want to pull out such a prank on him. I'm in. Poor Ojiro. Yeah and poor Mina because you are doing this. If you want me to do it I need a bit more details you know. Yeah me too. Okay. As we know some of you are married, the others are engaged our lives together and a few of us are still just a couples, but we can't deny that it's not easy to spend with our partners 24-7 of our time. But what if we check how long they can survive without us? Like you know, no texts, you can't visit him, her or go back home if you live together. Just avoid your partner, and we'll make them miss us. Then you can cuddle to comfort him, her or whatever makes your partner less anxious. Understood. That's amazing. I was about to say stupid. You know, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want Momo to cry because of me sad pensive face. Yeah Mina won't cry so I'll do it. I want to know what she cherish more, me or her tea. Fine, Fumikage will probably just say something like, oh the darn cat swallowed you. Nice. Okay. Iida. Don't get me wrong, I hate these kind of ideas but I want to see Shoto's reaction. Okay I am in. I guess I am in too sad face that don't want to. Fine but only this one time. Whatever. That means yes. What fine I'll do it, but if something's go wrong, I blame you. Okay me too. Yes. Okay, but I blame you if she cries. Yeah, and save this chat to show them in case they won't believe you. Okay. Then, when do we start? Only you left Jiro, come on. From tomorrow morning you can't be with them. I suggest telling them that you're going somewhere and then you have to improvise. Oh right, and don't forget to record it somehow. Okay then, good luck I guess. Good luck cute but not cute face. Ohitoru Toru X Ojiro. Status. Married, lives together. Time. 1846. Ojiro is making dinner while Toru finishes doing her nails in the living room. Okay babe, I'ma head out now. She yells to Ojiro when she was putting on her boots and jacket. Wait what? Where? Oh you know, to Mina, we talked about it last week, don't you remember? Oh, I think I didn't hear that right, sorry. It's okay, but can I go now? Oh yes of course, let me just kiss you for goodbye. He gave her a small peck on the cheek. When are you coming back anyways? Um, I don't know yet, but I'll text you. Probably late so don't wait for me, bye. She said as she walks out of the house. The door closed. Bye. He said with a little disappointed expression on his face. Five hours later. It was almost 12 p.m. and Toru still didn't came back from her meeting so Ojiro decided to text his wife. Private chat between Ojiro and Toru. Hey Angel, are you still at Mina's? Three minutes later. Baby. Five minutes later. Then I guess I'll just go to sleep now. Stay safe. I love you. Ten minutes later. Good night. The next morning. Ojiro woke up but he didn't feel his wife next to him so he checked his phone if there were any responses. There wasn't but he saw that she read the messages. Dot. Private chat between Ojiro and Toru. Are you really gonna left me on read? One minute later. Good morning, by the way. I hope you slept well. Three minutes later. When are you coming back? I miss you. Twenty minutes later. Text me if you ate already or should I make you pancakes? I love you and see you. Hope, soon. Almost whole day went and there was still no repons from Toru. It was 1656 already and Ojiro was losing his mind. Their chat looked like a mess. Honey. Sweetie. Did I offended you with something? Are you mad? Are you lost? Please text me back. I can't without you. It's been days since we talked. It wasn't even one day though. 
I miss my baby. Did someone kidnapped you? Oh no I can't go to the police I have to wait at least 24 hours to report you're missing. That's it I am waiting till 18 and I am calling police. Baby. Sad loving faces. Don't do that to me. I miss you. I love you. Are you alive? Should I go to Mina's? Question mark. But she's not answering. Either do Carissima. Sad faces galore. I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. In short, he was panicking. Right now Ojiro was sitting on a couch with a clock in his hands while waiting for 18 so that he could call the police. But then someone opened the door with camera in her hands. Obviously Ojiro was too focused on a clock so he didn't notice until someone touched his shoulders. He turned around and saw a flying camera. Toru. You're alive. He fast got up from the couch and hugged her, almost taking her breath away. Missed me much baby. Why did you do that to me? I am sorry, it was for a prank. Please don't do that to me ever again. She kissed him. It was a payback. Oh, so, you knew. Someone told me, but it's okay, I did something worst. No you didn't, let's not prank each other. Oh come on, it was fun. Just what the hell face. No it wasn't, I was terrified. She put down the camera. And then she kissed him again but this time it was a long passionate kiss that end up on cuddles with a Rapunzel on TV. Oh, I love you more by the way. Babe, one more question. Where were you? Dot. Sweet secret. Sad face. I'll tell you one day. Manayama, Manoma X Aoyama. Status. Couple, lives together. Time. 2021. Manoma was dressing up while Aoyama was preparing popcorn for their planned movie night. Okay I'm leaving now. Where? Just a meeting with friends. I don't know when I'll be back so don't wait for me. Wait. What about our movie night? Oh. I forgot. Can we do it next weekend? But I'm leaving next weekend, you know that I am heading to Paris for a mission. Oh right. Then we will make an appointment the other day, right now I really have to go okay. Whatever, I don't need you to shine anyway. So rude, says you. Go now or else you'll have to stay for my cheese tasting. Bye. He rushed out of the house, leaving Yuga completely alone. Ugh, what am I going to do now? As he finished making G his popcorn he sat down on the couch and pulled out the remote. Hmm, let's watch, Little Women. Seems interesting. Da. Two hours later. Yuga was in tears. Someone hugged me. He remembered when Manoma told him to not watch this alone but Yuga couldn't stop himself. Where's this beep when I need him? He pulled out his phone and texted Manoma. D Private chat between Manoma and Aoyama. Hey. Where are you? I need you. Of course when Manoma saw these messages he thought. Ah, it's been just two hours and he already misses me. You know what? I should have listened to you. You were right but I thought you're just playing with me. I need to go to bed, cry in my blanket. So don't be surprised if you find me in this state. Oh, by the way when are you heading back? I don't miss you I am just curious how much ice creams I'm gonna be able to eat without you. Well, after longer consideration, you can stay as long as you want, I personally suggest you sleep over. 20 minutes. Yo I am taking your silence as agree so I am closing the door, I'm gonna sleep well, au revoir. Next day. 8 o'clock. Private chat between Manoma and Aoyama. You won't believe what I was dreaming about. Not you. No but for real, where did you put my bubble waffle maker? Oh and my rainbow socks. I know you borrowed it, don't even think I'm a forget about this. No chance. Now, stop hiding in. La gasp. I just realized. You left me on read. How dare you. If you don't come home within 10 minutes, I will destroy all your ties and throw away the hair gel. And believe me, you don't want to test me. You better think it over before you regret taking the phone in your hand with no plan to answer me you beep. Jesus Christ I give up. Please don't. It was a prank. I swear. Yeah, as I assume, it was your idea, wasn't it? Maybe. That's it, you're sleeping on the couch. Wait. What? Why? For making me worry over nothing. You were worried. Nah. Bye. I I said bye. Chicken Wings, Dobby x Hawks. Status. Couple, live separately. Although Hawks is at Dobby's place almost all the time. Time. 1900. Dot. Private chat between Dobby and Hawks. Hello daddy. How many times I told you not to call me that? I guess not enough. You really want to piss me off, don't you? Photo. Jesus why do I love you? I can show you if you want. Okay. 
What do you want? Can I come over? Nah, I'm busy. Oh right, I won't be available for a while now, so yeah, don't be disappointed. What? Why? You don't love me. Photo. But I am busy, bye. Wait. You can't send me that and just leave. Burnt daddy is offline. Mean. You really left. Thanks for all your love and support. Next morning. Rise and shine sweetheart. Whatcha doin? I know it's 6am and you'll probably answer me at 12 but just wanted to let you know that I love you and I can't wait for our date tonight. Which we planned week ago, so good you didn't forgot. 6 hours later. Dobby's thoughts. Oh beep beep beep. I completely forgot. Damn. One hour later. I got back from my patrol and you saw messages so I will take that as. I love you too my perfect, harmless, charming and adorably gorgeous chicken wing. They planned to meet at 1400 in a restaurant near Dobby's flat. So obviously Hawk started preparing himself for a lovely date with his boyfriend. Unfortunately he didn't know that Dobby didn't plan to go on it since he really couldn't because of the challenge. One hour passed and Hawks was already at the agreed place. But when he saw that Dobby, who has much less way to get here didn't showed up yet he decided to text him. He pulled out his phone and saw that Dobby read all the previous messages which made him a little sad and worried. Private chat between Dobby and Hawks. Hey where are you? I'm worried. Something happened. Scene. Okay I give you 5 more minutes and if you won't show up I am going to your place. 5 minutes later. Hawks got up from his sit and slightly disappointed he cancelled reservation. Then he rushed to Dobby's house. When he got there, without even knocking he burst inside the house but when he did so, he saw a sleeping Dobby. I mean, at least he tried to pretend that he's asleep. Toya, you burnt toast what happened? I was waiting for you and you didn't show up. A small tear ran down his cheek. Why did you do that? Oh no. Munchkin. Guys. At this point I am really running out of nicknames lol. Are you crying? Shut up. I was worried that something happened to you. We are living separated so I don't know if you are okay or if you needs help. Baka. Oh trust me, you don't want to live with me. I am literally burning everything. You'll be out of clothes and food. If it's about burnt toast and eggs on a breakfast I can survive with that for knowing what's up with you most of the time. Both of them chuckle softly. You say so. Yeah you idiot. Oh. By the way, this was a prank. You're dead face. A what now? Dot. God save me. He started running but one of Kigo's feathers stopped him. Oh pray for our poor burnt toast. Array Cermic Aizawa X present Mike. Status. Married, lives together. Time. 2256. Shota and Hazashi were lying on the sofa while watching the movie and cuddling when Aizawa suddenly remembered the challenge he was supposed to do. But he was tired so he decided to do something that doesn't need so much effort. M. I'm going to sleep now. Oh. I'll go with you. No need for it. I know you wanted to watch this movie so go on, finish it. But it's no fun without you. You can do it. Aizawa gave a blonde guy a small peck on the lips. Good night. Good night. Love you. Yeah me too. He went upstairs only to lock himself in the guest room. Of course there was a bed and a small toilet but this wasn't his comfy bed with his husbando in it. For a stupid challenge or whatever. He laid down on a bed and fell asleep. Two hours later. As Aizawa was peacefully sleeping he heard a loud knocking on the door of the guest room. Shota. You there. Is everything alright? He was yelling but Aizawa just wore earplugs and went back to sleep. Next morning. Actually Aizawa didn't expect much but when he tried to open the door something heavy was leaning on them. Hazashi. What? What happened? Why are you sleeping on a floor? W what? Shota. Why didn't you respond? I was so beeping scared. He got up immediately and hugged Aizawa tightly. What's wrong with you? Making me worry so much. You man. Not cool. Sorry. It was a prank that problematic children made me do. Uh. That's fine. Let's go eat breakfast. Doesn't your back hurt? After sleeping on a floor. I'll be fine. Dot dot dot. Do you maybe want a massage? Shota. Ah. Uh, forget it. No no no. Sorry for making it weird. I do. I love you. Love you too. Karimina Kirishima X Mina. Status. Engaged. Lives together. Time. 1621. Mina was taking a nap while Kirishima was preparing a dinner for both of them. 
Actually he planned to finish dinner fast and leave the house without Mina noticing. So he made everything really quickly, ate his portion and leaves Mina's portion in the oven so that it won't get cold. After that Mina was still sleeping so Kirishima took the opportunity and sneak out of the house. He felt awful leaving her in the open house but he went to his neighbor to watch over if no one dangerous do not come near their house. Uh I hope she won't be that mad. As he whispered he got a notification on his phone. Private chat between Mina and Kirishima. Oh baby, thank you for dinner. It was hella delicious, love you. Oh, by the way, where did you go? If you needed something from a store or whatever I could have get it while you were making dinner. You know, after all we have to share responsibilities. Anyways, text me when you're gonna heading back home, okay? Again love you and thank you. Ajiro really wanted to respond but he couldn't. So he just muted the phone and forgot about whole world as he fall asleep for a nap. He was really toward this week so when he felt a calm place to finally rest, he took the opportunity. Six hours went past by and Kirishima's phone was still muted. When Kirishima finally woke up he felt something rubbed around his arm like a little shrimp. Then he realized he's in his common bedroom with Mina around his shoulder. Mina, baby, mind explain me how did I get here from our neighbor's house? Shish, I know it's a prank. I checked with Toru and she told me about it so no need for your effort hun. Let's say we are even, fine. I really failed. No you didn't, you just have a hard opponent. Really mean a kind of face. No cuddle me, please. Ah, come here. They kissed and cuddle for an hour but then they fell asleep after tiring week. Suchiko, Suyu X Ochako. Status. Engaged, lives together. Time. 2155. Suyu was in her office, like a home office you know, while Ochako was in the bathroom. Is that a good moment to leave? But do I really want to leave her alone, I this empty scary house? I mean, yeah, of course home sweet home and all but still. I don't know if I can leave her alone. Come on Su, you can do it, she's a pro hero after all. She can manage her own business. Suyu stood up and walked towards the door then putting on her jacket. She'll be fine, she'll be fine. It's just one night. Calm down Suyu. She breathed in and breathed out but once she heard the bathroom's door opening she immediately ran out of the house. Okay, where do I go for a whole night? Motel. I guess that's the best idea. Du Five minutes later. Private chat between Suyu and Ochako. Cutie pie, did you left without informing me? I am not mad, just concerned if everything's alright. Please go back home soon, should I wait for you? Are you hungry? I could do something for you if you want. Just let me know, I'll be in our bedroom while reading book. Oh, and I closed your laptop, sorry. Love you, stay safe and please come back home if everything you need to do is done. Suyu's thoughts. Ah she's so cute. What did I do in my earlier life to deserve such an angel? Three hours later. Private chat between Suyu and Onochako. Baby, I am really worried so tell me if you already came back home. I went to look for you. Uraraka for real left the house to look for her Sue. She was extremely scared that something happened to her so even though she was terrified about leaving the house at this hour, she still did, for her Sue you. When Sue finally saw Uraraka's messages she got really sacred because how could her soft baby leave the house at this moment? She immediately called her and thanked God Uraraka answered after two signals. Sue, where are you, baby? Why did you leave at this hour? Don't you know how dangerous it is? Sorry baby, I was really worried about you and I started imagine you in some kind of trench. Oh no. Baby, I'm so sorry. I should never do this to you. Forgive me baby. What? You didn't do anything. It's just me trying to be overprotective girlfriend. Honey, you don't have to be overprotective. Besides you're not. You're perfect. It's my fault for making you worry. Sorry, our ex-classmates told me to pull this prank on you, but I was the one that agreed. Can you forgive me? Of course baby, don't worry about it. As I assume, it was a payback. I guess, now please tell me where are you. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm at XXX. I'll be there in a minute, I love you. I love you too. Todoida Iida X Todoroki. Status. Couple, lives separated. Time. 1715. They were at Ida's place, lying in a bed. Todoroki was lying on Ida's belly while Tenya finishes writing his report. Are you done? Just a moment Shoto. 
Fine, wake me up when you're done. Actually, hmm, I need to leave for a moment. Is that okay? Oh. Well sure. Where do you have to go? I need to go get my package. Package. Now. Why so unexpectable? Well, I just got a notification that a delivery man just delivered my package. Oh, maybe I could go for it instead of you. No no. Really? Let me do it. You'll finish this report and Ian I get back we can watch this movie that we plan to watch today. Shoto. Really? I can go myself. Why are you so formal? Are you stressed because of your work again? Todoroki sat in front of Iida immediately. Is everything okay in your office? Yes, thank you. I just really have to go get this package now. He stood up from the bed. Don't wait for me if I won't get back soon, okay? Only for a package. I think it won't take more than 20 minutes. You never know. Tenya smiled awkwardly. Tenya I feel something strange from you. Are you hiding something? What? Where is this coming from Shoto, please? Everything's okay. Don't worry. Fine. Maybe I could do dinner while you're gone. Only if you want to. Ida gave two-haired boy a peck on his forehead. Bye now. Okay. Bye. Please be safe. Of course. Ida hesitated before he finally left the house. Of course there was no package at all but he had to came up with something see that he can do his challenge. Two hours later. Private chat between Ida and Todoroki. Incoming call from Elsa. Declined. Incoming call from Elsa. Declined. Why are you not picking up your phone? Did something happen on your way to Parcel Locker? Do you want me to help you? Maybe I should locate your location. Wait what? Shoto no. Don't do it. Why would you? Oh so now you're responding. Dot. Fork. It was a challenge. Did you succeed? No. Then come back to me and let's cuddle. Oh. But don't think I'll let you go that easily. Do you want soba? Dot. Don't be late. On my way. Dot. I love you. I love you too. Shinkami, Shinso X Denki. Status. Engaged, lives together. Time. 2213. Denki was in the bathroom while Shinso was preparing his brilliant idea for the challenge. Oh, sometimes it's a sin to be that clever. He thought himself. Poor Denki. But he has to pay. I mean technically he didn't made this prank on me. But, he tried. And he came up with an idea. So he needs a little punishment. Shinso went to their common garage and he set the camera right at the entrance. Then he hid himself in car and he waited. Da. Two minutes later. Ah. Uh, where is he? And right at this moment he received a message. Private chat between Shinso and Denki. Hey babe. Where are you? I miss you. Did you went to buy a ramen? Because if yes then I. Hid it from you. So you don't have to buy it. Shy pointing fingers. Sorry. Da. Real life. What a little. Now you need something worse than just missing me. I will scare you enough so that you won't ever think about hiding ramen from me. Two minutes Denki went to the garage to see if there's car is inside. It was. So. He didn't took the car. Babe. He started yelling again. Where are you? He started walking towards the, the car and when he was about to open the doors Shinso jumped at him. Unfortunately he didn't thought about his next move and when Denki made a horrifical jump scare Shinso fell on s ground with his face. Oh beep. Baby are you alright? Never again. Oh my, but it's your fault. You shouldn't have scare me. What the now make me a ramen is apology. Denki you little Pikachu, come here. Oh don't listen to you. Toko Shoji, Shoji X Tokiami. Status. Couple, lives separated. Time. 2043. Tokiami and Shoji were in a shop. And Shoji decided to hide in a store aisles. So when Tokiami was holding a cart, Shoji needed to silently walk away. M. I'm gonna get a sugar, okay. Sure. Can you also take bread? I think I am out of it too. Of course, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Dot. Shoji left and when he was trying to hide himself he accidentally bumped into a girl. Oops sorry. Oh. That's okay omg. Are you tentacle? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that you heroes are doing shopping in a normal store like this one. I am so amazed. You are 100 times more handsome in real life the on cameras. And damn look at those abs. Could you maybe give me an autograph? Please. I'm a huge fan. Haha. Ha. You know actually I'm in the middle of something. Oh you are. What a pity. Then maybe you could give me your number so that we can meet for a drinker. He's taken. In this whole turmoil Shoji didn't realize that Tokiami was already next to him. 
By the way babe, what are you doing in the beverages lane when you were supposed to get sugar and bread? Ew. You're gay. Disgusting. I used to be your big fan. Just you wait until the media's going to find out. What did you said? Right no Tokiami really didn't look like a hero. Let's say that he was even scarier than not one villain. I. Why are you? Oh trust me. It doesn't matter. Now go back to your business and never. Ever. Bother or talk to us again. Understood? Why yes. Good. Now go. Or I'll make you. She ran away in fear. Babe. Don't. Babe. Me. We're done here. Let's go. Why yes. Oh. I love you. You know. I know you big octopus. I love you too. They grabbed hands and happily walked away. Momojiro, Jiro X Momo. Status. Married, lives together. Time. 2156. Jiro really didn't want to do it because she really didn't want to hurt Momo. But she thought about it and she decided to hide somewhere before her girlfriend go back from her visit to her parents. Jiro hid in a closet while she received a message from Momo. Private chat between Jiro and Momo. Hi baby. I'm on my way back home. I mean right now I am not driving yet because I wouldn't text you but just to let you know. Oh and my mom says hi. I love you. See you soon. Jiro's thoughts. Ah she's just so perfect. 30 minutes later. Jiro was a little put of oxygen so she decided to leave a wardrobe for a second. But unfortunately, just in a time when she decided to leave, Momo came into the bedroom. Baby, what were you doing in the wardrobe? Oh, did I just, failed? Failed in what? M, never mind. How was your trip? Miriatama, Mirio X Tamaki. Status. Engaged, lives together. Time. 2213. They were in their car as they were coming back from a trip. When they stopped in front of their house and Tamaki already left Mirio pulled him for a kiss and said that he has one thing more to do. When are you coming back? I'll be back in a few hours or some, so don't wait for me and go to sleep well. Okay then. I love you. Ah I love you too precious. Tamaki quickly gave him a peck on the cheek and went inside the house. Two hours later. Private chat between Tamaki and Mirio. You're still not back so I'm going to sleep. I'm leaving the door open so please come back fast. Bit when Mirio saw these messages he almost got a heart attack. No freaking way I am leaving him for a whole night with open door. He speed up and went back home faster than a thunder. It wasn't even five minutes and he was already back. Tamaki. I'm here. Baby. Are you alright? Wait. Am I dumb? He's probably sleeping. My sweet Tamaki. Oh baby. He closed the door and went upstairs. Baby. Are you here? Mirio. Why are you yelling? He asked with a sleepy voice. Where were you? Doesn't matter. Let me cuddle you baby. I love you. Tamaki. I love you too. Shish. Or our neighbors are going to kill us. Oh. Right. Sorry. Bakudaku, Bakugo and Deku. Status. Couple, lives together. Time. 1845. Bakugo and Deku were cuddling on the couch when Bakugo decided to leave the house. Hey Deku, I'm leaving for an hour or two. Wait what? Why so suddenly? I just remembered that I was supposed to do something. I can help you if you want. No, you should rest, I'll be fine. After all I am Bakugo Katsuki. Well, then can you at least tell me what you have to do? It's boring and doesn't matter. Okay, bye for now. Okay, bye then. Oh come on, don't give me that look. Sorry Kachan, go now so that you can come back faster. After Bakugo left Deku went to shower. Four hours later. Private chat between Bakugo and Deku. Kachan it's been four hours since you left. I'm worried. Where are you? Seven minutes later. Kachan. Ten minutes later. I guess I'll have to call Mina to help me find you. Twenty minutes later. Really? Kachan. I can't sleep alone. You know that. Thirty minutes later. Actually now Izuku was just texting non-stop just to head Bakugo's attention. But while he was so focused on his phone, he didn't even realize that someone secretly came into his room. Boo. Screaming Deku noises. What the beep. He smashed person behind him only to realize that the person he smashed really really hard, was his Kachan. Kachan you idiot. Really. Now I am an idiot. Yes. For scaring me. Where were you anyways? It was a prank. Are you kidding me? Okatsuki Bakugo, 
You better do or you're sleeping alone tonight. But you said that you can't sleep alone. I'll make an exception for you. Don't you worry. Oh Deku. No. Come on. Let's cuddle. Fork you. Okay then. I guess you don't want a super special present with all might. Dot. What special present? Only if you're not mad anymore. I wasn't mad at all. Just wanted to tease you. But now I want a present. Follow me. They went outside the room to the unknown direction. The end. Finally. Yeah, that was really a lot so again I hope you liked it. Please comment your favorite part and check my description box. Please leave a like and subscribe my channel. Love you guys bye.